How many thanks for joining us? Over 300 junior athletes are expected to take part in the 2017 DK Olukoya National Youth and Junior Athletics Championships at from April 7th to 8th in Port Hacker. The Athletic Federation of Nigeria says the competition will serve as trials for the international junior competitions later this year. Nigeria will take part in the African Junior Championships in Algeria as well as the IAAF World Youth Championships in Kenya and the Commonwealth Youth Games in the Bahamas. Spokesman for the Federation, Kyle Thomas, says the competition is open to all states and athletics clubs. And Governor of Lagos State, Akil Mambode, received the Queen's baton at the Government House in Ikeja, Lagos, on Monday as the 2018 Commonwealth Games Torch continues its tour of Nigeria. The Queen's baton was first received by Nigeria's Minister of Sports and Youth Development, Solomon DeLong, before it moved to the Lagos State Government House. Former captain of the Nigerian Athletics team, Yusuf Ali, led a host of former athletes as they carried the torch at the National Stadium in Surulere, the 2018 Commonwealth Games will be held in Gold Coast, Australia in April 2018. All right, about now, the Australian High Commissioner to Nigeria, Paul Eman, joins us on the news. Paul Eman, it's nice having you here. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Now, when you talk about Australia, the likes of uh, cities like uh, Canberra, uh, Adelaide comes to mind. Where is Gold Coast in Australia? The Gold Coast is actually Australia's sixth largest city. It's located on our eastern seaboard in, in the state of Queensland, in the southeast of, of that state. So it uh, might not be uh, as well known as some of our larger cities, but certainly it's one of our fastest growing right. centres. Now when you talk about uh, the Commonwealth Games coming right now, how ready is Gold Coast to host the Commonwealth Games? Well, Australia has a very long track record in holding uh, major multi Sport, uh, sport, international sporting events. Uh, we've held the Commonwealth Games or hosted the Commonwealth Games four times already, most recently in 2006 in, in Melbourne. We've hosted the Olympic Games right. twice. So we, uh, we are very confident that everything will be in place. The facilities up there on the Gold Coast are, are, are amazing. Okay. Um, and so we're wor looking forward to welcoming athletes from across uh, the Commonwealth uh, in April next year. All right, now the, uh, the, the touch continues its tour and it was mm. received earlier today in Lagos by the sports minister, uh, Solomon DeLong. Now, how would you describe the reception uh, uh, when it got down here? How would the reception of Nigeria? Oh, look, it was, it was yeah. terrific to be there, to, uh, to see it for myself and okay. to witness the energy and the enthusiasm of the, the Nigerian participants in, in, the, in the torch uh, relay um, on the Queen's Baton relay. The spirit that, that is the Commonwealth Games and that is about participation yeah. and, and an expression of the values that we all share as Commonwealth nations. Okay, now quickly let's uh, divert a bit. There's been a whole lot of uh, you know, unrest in some parts of the world with regards to you know, crack bombs here and there. Mm. Now, how, what is in place to actually put a lot of people who are coming for these games uh, at rest because definitely there's always this fear when it has to do with uh, going, going for competitions and people have this you know, reservations with how secure am I going to be? Absolutely. Look, yeah. I think it's a legitimate concern, but I would say that the organisers of the Commonwealth Games have had security for participants, for spectators as, as a very high priority. And so security arrangements are designed in to all of the preparations which yeah. have now been going on for, for some years in order to ensure safety and security for, for everybody. Okay, now, now what was the choice of Gold Coast uh, of the opinion that uh, it's a city with less violence and that's why uh, it's going to be successful? Uh, I don't think that would quite be the way I'd characterise it okay. because uh, we're, we're blessed in Australia, uh, our cities are all uh, fairly safe and, yeah, and secure okay. places to hold sporting events. Uh, I think, uh, in fact, I know that there's often rivalry between various states and, okay. and cities in order to host these events, but the Gold Coast this time uh, won out due to the, the superiority of its, of its bid and the quality of the facilities that are on offer. Okay, Paul, I mean, now that you're here, I, I would really want you to highlight the importance of uh, you know, the uh, Queen's Baton in relation to the Commonwealth Games. Absolutely. Yeah. Look, yeah. I think what the Queen's Baton relay demonstrates is the is the strength of the ties between countries across the Commonwealth, all 72, I think, countries and territories. And it, it really symbolises the unity that, and the common bonds that we have uh, between all uh, the countries of the Commonwealth. And as I was saying this morning, uh, the, the fact that Australia and Nigeria, for example, yeah. as two, two really key uh, Commonwealth countries are so far apart, that the distance actually brings us together. Okay. And so, 
the, the, the Queen's Baton relay is an expression of, of that closeness, of those, those ties and oh, links right. that we've had over, over many decades. Uh, and the Commonwealth Games is an opportunity for us to celebrate that and okay. to celebrate so the shared values between all our countries. All right. And we're very proud that uh, the Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast in April will be the first games that will, in, will, will have, the first major sporting event anywhere in the world okay. that will have uh, uh, inclusion uh, based uh, not on any sort of gender or ability. So para uh, athletes, uh, women and men will compete on exactly the same footing. Okay, now Gold Coast. Now those who will be traveling to the Gold Coast for this Commonwealth Games, what should they expect? Okay, first thing I should say, if there's many Nigerians when they think of the Gold Coast, they might think of Ghana. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually, um, it, is, it is one of our actually most uh, popular tourist destinations. Okay. There's about 60 kilometers of beautiful beaches, um, right. surf beaches. Wow. Uh, to enjoy uh, beautiful hinterland and mountain region, rainforest not far away. Okay. Uh, great um, restaurants and, and uh, all of the other cultural activities right. that will be associated with the games will be there for people in, to enjoy the, the famous theme parks of, okay. of the Gold Coast. So we, we feel like it will have lots more on offer for visitors uh, beyond the games. All right, is there, is there going to be any incentive for uh, small countries to be able to attend the Commonwealth Games? Well, the whole idea of the Commonwealth Games is about participation. Okay. And so Australia, by hosting the Games, is investing heavily in providing the best facilities, facilities already. the best welcome to encourage people, people to come. So we're hoping that we get a really strong contingent from Nigeria, for example. Okay. Uh, I would love to see as many Nigerian athletes and their supporters as possible coming out to, to uh, Australia to be there to enjoy the spirit. Hmm. Thank you, Paul, and for coming. You're very welcome. It's great Appreciate to be Even though we are a long way away from, from many countries in the Commonwealth, for us that only encourages us, it makes us strive even harder to build friendships across the oceans and across continents. So uh, we are very, very, very proud uh, to be hosting uh, the 2018 Commonwealth Games. More than 6,600 athletes and officials from 70 countries from around the Commonwealth will take part in the 11 days of competition from the uh, 4th to the 15th of April.